Welcome everybody. Uh, hope everybody out there is staying safe and doing well. Uh, we're here in the middle of our vineyard and I have a beautiful, wonderful, special guest today. Uh, my wife, Jody, is here with us and we're gonna be tasting the 2015 Barrick Family Estate uh, Tengal. So, um, and, and I also wanna thank everybody uh, getting a great response to these videos and uh, just uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in, checking them out and I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you guys are enjoying some wine as well. Uh, Jody, we're going to talk about the 2015 Barrick Family Estate 10 Goal. Um, let's talk a little bit about the vintage in that year. Um, do you have any special story you can tell us or what do you remember about 2015? Um, I was trying to think about 2015 and the thing that stands out to me is that I turned 40 in 2015. Wow, I, I didn't even, I, I should have put that math together. <laughs> and obviously that's a big birthday. And you threw me a really, really fun disco birthday party right here at the ranch with our friends and our family came from all over. And it was a really, really special day for me and a special day here at the ranch. And. Um, very close to my heart. So that was my probably the highlight of my 2015. We might have had some 2015 10. Oh no, we wouldn't have. No. No. Yeah, <laughs> we would we wouldn't have. Okay, well. We had some wine that night, I'm sure. Um, but well, that's amazing. Well, let's let's talk a little bit about the year from my perspective and the vineyard perspective. Um, we are overlooking our vineyard. The thing about 2015 that I remember uh, is it was the heart of the drought, the and it was so dry and just continue to be so dry. Um, and then another thing that kind of impacted us or uh, was telling about that year is we had a very kind of cold spring, windy spring. And during fruit set, uh, it was uh, that none of the fruit set. So um, in the whole entire state of California, one of the lowest yielding years. Um, but with that, we had a very small, tight, clusters in our Cabernet vineyard that I'll talk about in a moment and uh, unbelievable character and unbelievable uh, complexity uh, despite that we we're 15 50% down on uh, yields all right what else stands out to you for uh, 2015 maybe when it comes to the vineyard and, and what, what's happening out here uh, I remember that it was an early harvest very early year. harvest yeah um, and we have pictures of the kids out there with you during harvest. I have pictures of Gracie. It was our third year living here, our third harvest. And I know that Gracie was really excited to be out there harvesting with you. Oh, I loved having the kids out there. Um, super fun times. Um, all right, let's get right into talking a little bit more deeply about the wine. Um, and first I'd like to talk about the vineyard that it comes from. So this is our high-end kind of luxury Cabernet. It comes from the most special vineyard on our property. Uh, the, the vineyard is on the other side of the hill over here. It's a very steep hillside, which we use a head train vine. A head train vine is like a bit of a palm tree. It's got a 360 degree fruit. Um, so that hillside is so steep, you cannot get a tractor. So it's 100% hand farmed. Um, and of course, our, 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 all of our vineyards are organic and sustainably farmed. So uh, just a very, very special vineyard. And what is special to you about that vineyard, Jody? What's most special to me about that vineyard is that it was planted uh, by my dad on the year we got married in 2001. Great day so, for me, the year we got married. It's a, it's a great uh, memory of our love our marriage and our life here oh i, I love that story <laughs> and and so I, I think we do call the vineyard after my beautiful wife here jody we call it jody's block cabernet sauvignon a uh, very special vineyard so we we take that uh incredible fruit back to our winery um we ferment it in old french oak barrels um and then once the fermentation is done we're actually going to put it in all new terran so t5 uh, barrels. These are the finest quality Bordeaux barrels that you can purchase. Uh, the five stands for the wood comes from five different French oak forests. So you can literally see the different colors and different grains uh, of the oak wood and the staves of the barrel. 
it's going to be in those barrels for two years and then we're going to put it in a bottle and leave it in the bottle for uh, up to two years before we're going to release it for sale um so uh it's just a uh everything about that wine is excellence it's it's excellence in a bottle uh, let's let's taste the wine you ready all right here we go let's let's see okay. what we think got a lot to live up here wow look at that color pretty jody color. yeah it's this wine is uh going to be very deep and dark uh and red and i hope you guys can kind of check Let's that see. out yeah cheers, cheers. <laughs> mm. the aromatics are really jumping out of the glass for me jody they got um you know these dark fruits plums maybe a little bit of a that brioche toast kind of note and it, this uh big cranberry that just really yeah. jumps out of the glass oh, i love the aromatics you guys yeah. this is amazing it smells so good. what a mouthfeel uh pretty intense tannins i mean i think that the little bit of merlot and the other uh, great bridles that are in there add a little bit of uh, plushness but still super broad um a bit of an intense mouthfeel that you you would see from a high-end luxury uh, Cabernet. Uh, dark fruits, um, super balanced, really really balanced. I mean, there's just everything going yeah. on. It's broad, uh, structured. Yeah, it's a beautiful wine. Everything, in my opinion, a, a Cabernet should be, but it's not over the top. It's still got this air of elegance. I yeah, think it's it's, it's, not, it's, it's not this air of really elegance powerful. of um, yeah. And I'm looking at the bottle here. It's only thirteen and a half percent alcohol, so a comfy wine, a long, savory finish. Mm -hmm. I love the wine. I love you, honey. Super good. Yeah, I'm glad we're here. Yeah. Glad you guys are here with us. Mm. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the name of and why we call this uh, Tengal. So um, the wine is uh, Barrick Family Estate, Tengal. Uh, Jody's maiden name is Barrick, and her uh, dad uh, did plant these vineyards um, to really provide his family and, and our family uh, a legacy over time and to be great stewards of the land. So that's where the name Barrick comes from. We call it Tengal. Um, as many of you are aware, we do play a little bit of polo here, so it is a polo term. Um, actually, all polo players are rated by goals. Ten goals is the highest rating you can attain. It's considered perfect in the polo world. Uh, so because of that vineyard that we talked about, um, because of the way we make the wine using the highest quality barrels, um, we consider this wine perfect. And the beautiful story that I get to tell, because my wife Jody is here, is, and she told us how the vineyard uh, was planted the year we were married uh, and is named after her i consider you perfect honey mm -hmm. so um uh, it's true, all very sweet it's all very serendipitous and it all runs together and um what a wonderful treat um it is to enjoy the, the wine out here with you today thank you for having me um so um let, let's wrap it up i guess uh, a little bit um super limited allocation this is a library release so uh, just a few cases out there, but uh, is going to be available on our website for you to purchase if you'd like to do that. Um, and then I want to do give a, a shout out again to our healthcare workers and all those uh, working the front lines of this thing. Um, also want to express my love to all of you that are uh, tuning in, and um, just just uh, another heartfelt thank you. And if there's anything we can do for you, just don't hesitate to give us a call. Um, any last closing remarks no, from thank you? thank you. On behalf of our whole family, uh, we're very grateful for all of you. You uh, are why we do this. We're super grateful to be living here and working this land. And it makes it uh, more impactful when we get to share it with all of you. Wonderful. All right, honey. Cheers. I love you. Love you too. Go be awesome today. Take care out there. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.